Yo know, guys, it's someday in the middle of December. I honestly don't know. It's a Friday. We're headed out to uh, do some, some winter crabbing just for fun. Uh, it's just an excuse to get the boat back out and yeah, try a few different upgrades I did on it and uh, just have a good time, see what we're doing. Um, it's just Ron and I out here. We're going to go hit a whole bunch of secret spots that nobody knows about. I'm just kidding. We're just going to throw these anywhere. I don't know. I don't know anything about crabbing out here. All of my crabbing has been done on Whidbey Island from this point on. So this is, this is a, a new for me, or up till this point. I mean, this is a new thing for me. So let's, uh, we only have a, a ring in a pot with us, but we're going to go have some fun. We're going to go pick up our endorsements because I realized the summer and winter endorsement are two different things. We're going to go hit it, see what we can do. Ron, I think I saw that buoy get a hit over there. <laughs> we got our our solo pot and our ring down here. For some reason, for our first drop, we chose the most complicated spot in the Roasted Way, but that's okay, because we are basically on shore at 80 feet by where we want to drop, so we had zero wiggle room. We had to throw it out of the boat quickly, get away from the rocks. But that's all right. We're staying warm. Got the heater going, we're gonna let them sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll see what we got and how we need to change. Oh, that glare is brutal. Okay, there you go. Nice. Be beautifully done. Beautifully done. Look at that. Look at that. You know, even like a baby crab. Would make me feel good about myself. Oh, I'm getting all tangled up. Are you in neutral? Okay, cool. That's my baby crab that I wanted. It's empty again. Nothing. Hey, right, maybe we should go somewhere else with this one. All right, well, things are warming up. We just had lunch at Rock the Dock. We got a couple of pots have been sitting out here. Well, a ring in a pot now for an hour. Still back here along the waterfront. With the drain elevators at the Foss. Let's see if we can finally get something worth keeping. Alrighty. Man, this pot's heavy. Feels heavy, but I'm not gonna go there because I don't know what these, I haven't used these enough to, to, to know what they feel like empty. Okay, I'm seeing some stuff here. Let's see what we got. Hey, yeah, looks keeper. like we got two keepers. two keepers. Look at the size of those. Well, let's see if they're male. Is there three in there? No, just two big ones. Wow, those are big crab. Wow. Okay, interesting. Where was that at? Right out here. All right, cool. Look at these guys, these are great. I, I hope they're both male. This is an awesome crab right here. All right. Now I get to make a fool of myself handling crab on YouTube. Can you? So what you're saying is I need to sacrifice my finger. Well, you're missing a couple eggs. Is it a girl? Oh, it's a boy. Look at that thing. All right, so 
Crabs. Crabs all over the boat here. He is absolutely a keeper by about half an inch. What a guy. Look at that. He's like uh he's like an inch. So this is like a seven, this is like a seven and a half inch crab right here. That one only went seven and a half, he didn't go eight? No, not quite eight. Man, his arm is strong. You know what, Ron? That one right there, though, needs to be thrown back. That one has soft shell. What do you mean soft shell? Yeah, we gotta throw it back. That's soft shell. What do you mean soft shell? Here, let me shut this off. We got one keeper. Well, we just ran over from uh, Thea Foss area. You got those two nice, uh, two nice Dungeness male crabs. One did have soft shell. We threw that guy back. We got a day off. The rest um, of went ahead and kept that one it's a great size we'll show some pictures video at the end um just headed back over here to uh kind of around the around the southern tip of ashon area just dropping some pots in about 50 feet of water nothing too crazy the run over was, was pretty bumpy for a calm calm day i think we just hit it right at the wrong tide at, uh, right in the middle of the tidal exchange made it over here though we're just hanging out this is like full 346 of the date, Ron. Ron, the, the, the thing's going away, Ron. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was an extended pool. That is extended. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Getting a nicer nap. Can you get that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ken. Did you forget something? I, I'm pulling fast. I'm done telling you it feels heavy. I'm not going to do that to you. Oh. Pair of shorts. At least there's no more ice on the boat. Come on. Come on. You know what's funny is this trap is heavier than that pot is. Oh. There we go. See a lot of chicken. Does that count for something? Well, Ron's gonna be happy. There's something in there. Oh, yeah. oh. Well, I think he's barely <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. I think he got one of the pieces of chicken we put in there. Oh no, you don't. He's trying to leave on me. <sighs> All right. Yeah, no, I agree. Oh, it's floating away right there. It almost made it up to the top. What? Oh, we'll find it. Let me get this boy. Hey, it's a male. Looks like a keeper. We'll measure him. Why the hell are you holding that way? <laughs> yeah. Well, we lost our crab measuring device, but then I found it in the boat. What are you doing with that thing? This is how I get holes in in my feet. This is just a, this. Okay, hold on. Oh. Ron, get the knife out of the crab. Okay, let's see ah, what we got. Cook it. All right. Oh, gosh, yes. Okay, cool. So I was at 75 feet. I'm um, out here in Quartermaster. Right on. Right on. Wait, hey. it is a male, right? Yeah, it's a male. Okay. We got company for you. There we go. No All right. Rock and roll. I mean, it's been a productive day. Yeah, it might be too small. I got, I'm all tangled up too on my lid somehow. What's tangled up? My lid's tangled up. My, my, uh, I don't know what they call it, float line. Uh, I don't think he's big enough. Let's measure him. All right, well, it's about two o'clock. Pulled a lot of pots, or pulled the pot in the ring a lot of times. And we got, we got the uh, two nice keepers. We had to throw that third one back, but that's all right. For end of the season, middle of the winter, it's not bad in my book. We had a good time. Beautiful day out here. Uh, we're just using uh, raw chicken and uh, some roe we had left over from the season. 
I'm sure there's better baits. I'm sure there's better places. I'm sure there's better traps uh, out there. So if uh, anyone has any recommendations or anything of brands, hit me up. Um, the one, the orange bait box I was using, I don't think it was working very well. So I'm gonna drill some holes in there and make uh, bigger openings so the, the crab can, can actually see the meat inside it. I think that'll, that'll benefit. Um, we took a couple pieces of chicken and just stuck them into the wire on the uh, on that ring and we immediately had better success. So I think that was kind of a downfall of this trip, but that's all right. You're gonna head back in and get cleaned up. Cheers.